Book number one. Skater Baby by Jack Noel. Mom wants her precious sweetie pie to have some good, safe fun at the park. But Baby has other ideas. When Mom is distracted, Baby crawls away and finds a skateboard. Soon, Skater Baby is off on a disruptive joyride through the park, and no one seems to be able to catch the Daredevil Tyke. Read this book to find out who Baby meets on this adventure and the next. Book number two. Oh! I'm Not Scared, You're Scared by Seth Meyers. Pictures by Rob Serg Jr. When you're a bear who is easily scared, oh! you don't have many friends. Fortunately, bear has one, Rabbit, who happens to be very brave. One day, Rabbit urges Bear to face his fears and they embark on an adventure together. Let's go! Things don't entirely go as planned. Ah! and Bear might just have to reach deep inside himself and find that bravery has been there all along. Book number three. Courage Hats, written by Kate Hoffler, illustrated by Jessica Bagley. May is a girl dressed like a bear. Bear is a bear dressed like a human. Courage is something that comes from your heart, but if you can't find it there, you can wear it on your head at first. This is a story about being afraid of being different, the ways we overcome this fear, and the fact that often what's different is a lot closer and more familiar than we might think. With courage and a dash of friendship, May and Bear discover all the humor, warmth, and beauty found in togetherness and in the unknown. Book number four. John's Turn by Mac Barnett, illustrated by Kate Barub. Every Friday in the cafeteria, one kid gets up in front of the whole school and does something. A performance. Last week, Tina played tuba. Once, Jesse did magic tricks and Carol told some jokes. Today, it's John's turn. Will John have the courage to perform? And will his classmates be accepting of his talent? Book number five, Night Owl by Christopher Denise. Since the day he hatched, Owl dreamed of becoming a real knight. He may not be the biggest or the strongest, but his sharp nocturnal instincts can help protect the castle, especially since many knights have recently gone missing. While holding guard during night night watch, Owl is faced with the ultimate trial, a frightening intruder. It's a daunting duel by any measure, but what Owl lacks in size, he makes up for in good ideas. Full of wordplay and optimism, this surprising display of bravery proves that cleverness and friendship can rule over brawn. Book number six. When Cloud Became a Cloud by Rob Hodgson. Cloud is so happy to be a cloud take to the skies and float along with her as she moves and transforms through the stages of the water cycle. From drizzle to snow to a thunderstorm party, Cloud's journey is documented through short engaging chapters that capture the excitement and humor of weather in its many forms. Book number seven. Capybara is friends with everyone. Words and pictures by Maddie Frost. According to Capybara, it's important to be a good friend. He has 4,382 friends. He will do anything for friends. Rain or shine, day or night, he always goes the extra mile. But one day, he sees a friend he's never met yet. And the new friend doesn't respond to the new friend song. Will they ever be friends? This hilarious story is about friendship and what lengths you do and don't need to go to in order to be a good friend. Book number eight. With Lots of Love, written by Jenny Torres Sanchez, illustrated by Andre Seelan. Rocio and her family have moved to the United States, and there are many things she misses from her old life in Central America. Abuelo's cooking, Abuelo's piñata creations, Abuelo's warm hugs, and of course, Abuelo herself most of all. But Abuelo finds a way to send Rocio something special 
just in time for her birthday. A gift wrapped with lots of love, and that fills Rocio to the brim. In this beautiful, lyrical story about a girl who leaves behind the only home she's ever known, love brings family together no matter the distance. Book number nine. Acorn Was a Little Wild, written by Jen Arena, illustrated by Jessica Gibson. Acorn is a wild little thing with a passion for adventure. The first of his generation to jump off the tree, he gets a thrill out of everything life brings. Nothing can keep Acorn down, not pesky squirrels or ending up in unexpected places. But even wild little acorns have to grow up sometime, and that may be the most exciting adventure of all. A great story perfect for teaching young readers resilience in the face of change. And last, book number 10. The Library Fish, written by Alyssa Satin Capusoli, illustrated by Gladys Jose. It seemed like an ordinary day until Mr. Hughes, the librarian, found a fishbowl on the library steps. Mr. Hughes didn't hesitate. He welcomed the fish into the children's room and gave her a home in his world of books and friends and stories and named her Library Fish. Then one morning, when the snowstorm closes the library, the library fish decides today is the day she will leave her fishbowl and see the library and its stories up close for herself at last. This book is a jubilant celebration of libraries and reading and stories and the joy of having a pet or friend to enjoy them with. I give these books a 10 out of 10. This is Miss Annette. I sure hope you enjoyed this book talk. Until next time, keep on reading. <laughs>